Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be something a little bit different. I wanted to share with you some of my family's favorite fall recipes. So if you guys wanna see, then please keep watching. All right, we are making one of my favorite fall recipes, which is a pot roast. Here I'm showing you, I got about a pound and a quarter pot roast or a chuck roast from Walmart. And I'm gonna be mixing a bunch of spices for the rub. I will link the recipe down below if you guys want exact measurements. So I'm gonna measure all of that out and then mix it up and then we are going to press it into the roast. You wanna get it nice and covered and saturated with that seasoning because you are going to be browning it with some oil on the stove top before placing in the crock pot. Now I love this recipe because you can literally set it and forget it, let it cook all day long, the longer the better. So here we are, we're putting some olive oil in a pan, getting it nice and hot. Gonna sear it on both sides and on the side. You don't wanna forget about the sides. See this brown here, this crust, this is exactly what you're looking for. Just seals in the juices and the flavor. We're gonna place that in the crock pot while we get everything else ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more oil to that exact same pan. We're gonna add a half of a large yellow onion. I'm gonna saute that down until it becomes translucent. This is gonna make a nice gravy or jus. And this is what you're looking for. You want it to be nice and soft. So we're gonna be using balsamic vinegar, some Worcestershire sauce, some honey, some tomato paste, and some beef broth. And then at the end, I will be adding a cornstarch slurry just to thicken it up a little bit. Now this sauce is so delicious. You can put it as is. The recipe does require just the sauce, not any additional liquid, but I did add some extra beef broth just to be sure. I did not want it to dry out. All right, you're gonna let your sauce cook down for a couple minutes. While it's cooking, you're gonna add your potatoes. I've got these baby multicolored potatoes here. I did cut some of them because they were large. And then we've got three carrots peeled and chopped. Now we're gonna add our onion jus or onion gravy right on top. And like I said, I did add some more beef broth just to be sure. I covered that, cooked it on low for about six and a half hours. Now if you can do eight, that's even better. So while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our little appetizers. My daughter loves these. I make them all the time. This is a perfect uh, Sunday dinner, so it's just cream cheese. You can use garlic, onion, chive, whatever. Sharp cheddar cheese, mix that all together. I pop that in the fridge while I crushed up my Cheez-Its in a bag. I just use a meat tenderizer or a meat hammer. I'm not sure what you wanna call it, but I used one of these. Got it real good and fine. I put that in a bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up our celery. This is just for decoration. This is gonna be the stalks of our little cheese ball pumpkins. And we're gonna use those leaves for the leaf of the pumpkin. So I am using Ritz crackers. I love Ritz crackers because they're so buttery and so yummy, but you use any cracker you'd like. Now basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna take a little scooper. I've got this little small ice cream scoop. I'm gonna scoop it up. And if you don't have one of those, you can use a spoon. It works just as good. You're gonna dump it in your Cheez-It mixture roll it around and form a ball, and that is it. Super simple. So now I'm just taking the celery, sticking it in the center of the pumpkin, and then adding the little leaves of the celery, just to add a little finishing touch. And this is what they look like. They did not last long. All right, last but not least is our little pumpkin pie twists. Super simple to do. My daughter even helped me make them. So you're just gonna need some pumpkin puree, some maple syrup, some brown sugar, and some pumpkin pie spice. You're gonna mix that all together. Like I said, the exact ingredients will be listed down below if you guys are interested, but this one's super cute, really fun. My daughter really likes these and they're like a little pumpkin pie in a little twist, super good. Next, you're gonna need some crescent rolls. You're gonna split that right in half. I'm gonna try to seal up all these little holes as you can see us doing. Now we're gonna take one of those halves and spread that mixture on there. 
I'm gonna spread that all nice and even. Once it's good and coated, we're gonna add that additional layer. And I'm using this little pizza cutter here and we're gonna cut little strips. Once you've cut them all, you're gonna to start to twist them in the opposite direction to make a little twist shape, as you will see here in a second. Just be very careful, this can get messy. So I'm twisting it in the opposite direction on each side, just so I get a nice little twist. Once those are done, you're gonna spread some melted butter on there and then add some cinnamon sugar on top. You're gonna bake these in the oven at 375 for about 12 minutes. You can go a little bit longer if you'd like them really crispy, but mine were done on the bottom already, so I, I didn't wanna burn the top too much. But it takes about 12 to 13 minutes. And that is it. These are super simple, but really delicious. This is perfect for a family meal on Sunday. You cannot go wrong. All right, the pot roast has now been in this crock pot for about six and a half hours. You want your potatoes and your carrots to be fork tender. You'll see here in a second, I'm gonna test it and make sure. And then you're gonna go ahead and pull out that roast. As you can see, mine is falling apart. That's exactly what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the roast and we're gonna shred it, remove all the fat, get all that gristle out of there. You do not want to bite into a nice grimy piece of <laughs> fat or tendon. So I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. After that, we're gonna go back to the crock pot and remove those vegetables. So you're gonna scoop them out with a ladle. And then after you've removed all of your vegetables, you're gonna add some ketchup to your sauce. Now this is key, this really brightens up that gravy, it makes it nice and thick and a little bit sweet. So after you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and pour that over your vegetables and your meat and you are done. This is what it looks like, super yummy. This will feed probably about a family of four or five. You can get a bigger roast if you have more people in your family, but this was perfect for us. I'm just gonna top it off with some parsley flakes and serve it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my fall recipes. I know it's super simple and a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but I love these recipes and I do love making cooking videos, so I hope you guys do enjoy. Like I said, these recipes are perfect for a Sunday meal with your family. I absolutely love each and every one of these, and if you try any of them, please let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.